ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் யூடியூப் சேனல் பூமி வேர்ல்ட் ஹோப் எவ்ரி ஒன் இஸ் டூயிங் குட் இன் அவர் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் ஆட்டம் செட்டப் ஃபார் விண்டோஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு டு அட்டாச் அ டிட்டாச் ஆட்டம் டு த என்விரான்மெண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹேவன்ட் வாட்ச் மை லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ ப்ளீஸ் கோ அண்ட் செக் இட் அவுட் நோ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஹவு டு கிரியேட் ஃபோல்டர் ஹவு டு கிரியேட் ப்ராசஸ் அண்ட் வில் டாக் வித் மோர் அபவுட் கம்போனெண்ட் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரர் ஓவர் வியூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் yeah this is the boomi integration page right and this is called as component explorer the structure of this is tree model so first we'll look into how to create folder so firstly why we need to create folder so this is the first question will come to our mind right yeah suppose if you are working on any organization and you have a few team members so it's better to have one separate folder for each team member not only in case of team members if you if you are dealing with multiple projects it's better to have separate folder for each project so that you can find all information in one folder so these are the basic reasons to create folder so we'll create one folder first so this is the main account name so from here you need to create one folder separate folder for each project or each team member so first you need to click on this arrow button if you click on this arrow button you can see some options right so first we'll talk about new folder so just click on new folder and one pop up window will appear here we need to enter folder name however you want so i'm just entering folder name as demo underscore folder and i'm clicking on save button yeah folder got created so in coming videos i am going to create all my process under this folder only so now we can look into other options so we have created one folder right so now we can see another options if you want to rename this folder name you just need to click on rename button so that pop up window will appear so here you can change your folder name however you want so i am just renaming my folder name i am just adding one and then clicking on save yeah see folder name got renamed and another option delete if you want to delete this folder you can click on delete option so it will ask one question are you sure you want to delete demo folder one if you want if you really want to delete this folder just click on okay button see that folder name got deleted so i'm just creating again folder and clicking on save button yeah and next we have another option called permissions suppose if you are working in any high security project and you thought only limited people need access to that code so at that time you can give permissions to that folder so that only those people uh, can see your code and edit your code so just click on permissions and assign roles if you want to give access to this folder for only administrative access people you just need to click on here and then select here so that only administrative access people will see code and then they can able to edit the code in inside this folder so this is how we need to give permissions if you want to revert those permission you just click on here and then select this side arrow and then save so now there is no permissions for this folder so this is how we need to give permissions to any particular folder and next we have copy option right if you want to copy this folder or any sub folder from one folder to another folder you can use this copy so if you click on that copy button one pop up window will appear so here you can see some options folder to copy and copy to account so if you have multiple accounts with same username so you can copy 
any of the folder or any process from one account to another account so all you need to choose is your account name here and next copy password across all accounts so this is disable and copy all subfolders so if there is any subfolders in this folder if you want to copy all the subfolders we can create multiple subfolders as well under one folder so suppose if you want to create any subfolder under this folder and just click on that and then click on new folder and entering folder name demo one and then save if you see subfolder got created so how how it is looking like tree model right so the component explorer will look like tree model yeah this is about component explorer overview and folder creation if you see here we have another option called new component so first of all what is component so components are reusable configuration objects which means you can create ones and you can reference same component anywhere in this particular account wherever you want which means you can create ones and you can reference same component anywhere in the account wherever you want to reuse the same component so component includes processes connections api services trading partners api proxy api services communication channels connections connector operations cross reference tables custom library database profiles document cache eda profiles flat file profiles flow service json profile map map function scripting organization pgp certificate process process properties process route process script process grouping queue trading partner certificates xml profile xslt style sheets so all these objects called as the component so we can talk all these components in our future videos and what is process a process represents a workflow that moves a given type of record from one system to another system processes are the central components in dalbumi atom sphere so processes contains a series of shapes that determines how data is executed within the system we can discuss uh, shapes in our next video yeah that's it for today's video if you have any doubts or suggestions in today's topic please let me know on comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the new video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye